Okay guys, so this is part 2 of the uh, review of the Adidas NMD monochrome pack. Uh, if you go back and watch my previous video of the white NMD uh, monochrome pack, uh, you'll see that review where I compared it to uh, my uh, gray with blue uh, accents uh, NMD, which was this one, it's the NMD R1. All right, this one was 130, this one was 120. I don't really necessarily know why there was a difference in price from 130 to 120, so if you guys can explain to me why, um, I really don't know why myself. Maybe it was just the materials that they used, but this that material is a mesh material, but this material is a mesh material as well. But um, on this shoe, you'll see that this material is made of a mesh material, and if you go back and watch my NMD R1 video, the mesh material is a lot uh, softer. So uh, when you get these shoes, I would suggest that you get true to size or maybe half size up because these run true to size uh, definitely. On the uh, gray with blue tab uh, accent, that one was almost half a size big. So that one ran big, this one runs true to size. I'll show you a full 360 view of it. You'll notice that the, the three stripes light up on there. So it reflects in 3M. The back pull stab, of course, says the brand with three, three stripes. Same going as for the bottom. Although the bottom is not black. Um, it's uh, a black coating. I mean, it's a white coating, and it says the brand with three stripes in different languages. Whereas you'll see when I pull out the shoes, okay, that I guess that's why they call it the monochrome pack because it's black and white. Whereas my white ones, well, actually, no, I was wrong. Okay, so my white ones actually have a white bottom too. So I guess it's just monochrome because it's black and white. Okay, so black, white, monochrome pack. So um, I just did a review on these. Like I said, it runs true to size. You can see my toes right there. On the NMD R1, I had a whole foot, I mean, I had a finger space in between. But these, like I said, they run true to size. So like I said, you might want to go up half a size or go true to size because um, these, uh, because of the material, this meshy material is a little bit thicker. So I think that's why uh, it fits true to size on me. Because uh, both of these are size 8. So on the inside, all it just says is boost. Alright. See, true size. My foot's right here. Um, I probably could have went up to an eight and a half, but that would have just gave me a lot more room. My foot's right here, so I have a little bit of space, but I think one of my feet is a little bit longer than the other one. But that's what the two shoes look like for the monochrome pack. I'm just glad I was uh, lucky to be able to get a pair. Uh, when I was in the store at Foot Action, uh, they still had a lot of the pairs left, but... Um, I grabbed it from a different store because I had some reward coupons that I was able to use to uh, get a discount. Um, so I wouldn't have to pay so much. So I'm going to show you what these look like on feet real quick. And then we'll finish this video up so that way you're not watching a long video of the shoe. So I'll tuck this one in. Now, I don't necessarily know if this is 3M, but I, I don't think so. But I know for certain these are 3M. So, I'll pull the shoe, pull the shoe out. And I'll show you a full 360 view of it. Alright, so that's what the shoe looks like. 
And here's the bottom. Bottom. Side. Side. Now, when I did my initial review on the white one, I could have sworn that the bottom was white, I mean, uh, black, and I thought this one would have been white. But, um, when I re-looked at it, they were both white, so... Either way, it's still a nice looking shoe. It's still very plain and simple colorway. Um, and it's very inexpensive being only 120. So, like I said uh, earlier in my, um, the uh, white one, they, the boost material feels more like a Pure Boost 2.0. It doesn't feel more like a, like a, Ye like a Yeezy Boost or an Ultra Boost or a, Pro Boost uh, ZG. Um, it just feels like a regular Pro Boost 2.0. So, but it's still comfortable nonetheless. And I still recommend it because it's comfortable. It's like very comfortable walking shoe. And uh, it's very breathable. I don't really go jogging, so I'm not gonna be using this to be good to uh, to jog. But this will be just a more of a comfort shoe to relaxing or when I drive standard or uh, just basically when I feel like running, walking around in a comfortable shoe because when you wear Jordans all day long you you know you might crease them or mess them up so I try to keep my Jordans uh, nice and I'll pull those out every once in a while and wear them but I'm starting to lean more towards these runners and uh, like you saw earlier in the previous video I wore my Air Max uh, Zero today for Air Max day um, I'm just wanting to wear more comfortable shoes now because uh, Jordans if you walk around the mall all day long they tend to hurt your feet after a while and uh, it starts to get really tiring so all right so that's pretty much what the shoe looks like Alright guys, so um, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button. Peace guys.